In dozens of black boxes, the evidence found by prosecutors during the LARVA operation, launched yesterday by the Public Ministry and the National Drug Control Directorate DNCD, to dismantle an alleged network, were transferred to the Specialized Anti-Money Laundering Office. Of money laundering from drug trafficking through raids carried out in different parts of the country. The LARVA operation is carried out one year and seven months after the criminal organization that supported the money laundering network dismantled yesterday was dismantled when 16 people were arrested in March 2020, at a time when 700 packages of cocaine were brought from Colombia in a boat, according to the Attorney General's office. In May 2020, the San Cristobal Permanent Attention Jurisdiction imposed a measure of coercion consisting of one-year preventive detention on 11 of those accused of belonging to that drug trafficking organization, including seven Dominicans, three Colombians, and one Peruvian. This criminal process is in the investigation phase. Last night, the Attorney General's office reported that among the first arrested are Jorge Luis Hiraza Estrella, one of the main collaborators of the criminal network, who in March of last year introduced into the country a cache of 700 packages of hydrochloric cocaine brought aboard a boat by the coast of Nigua, San Cristobal. At least nine people were arrested yesterday, during the raids carried out in the National District, Santo Domingo Este and Oeste, San Cristobal, and Cap Cana, as part of the larva operation. They were immediately taken to the anti-money laundering unit, where they were interrogated. The investigations into those involved in this money laundering network were led by the Deputy Attorney General Yeni Berenice Reynoso, National Director of Prosecution of the Public Ministry, who arrived at the Anti-Money Laundering Attorney's Office at 12.15 in the afternoon and left for 4.50 a.m. without giving statements to reporters.